everything. Today we're going to have an Artie party with the new toy, Artie 3000. I got this toy from my friends at Educational Insights, right here. So now then, let's take have a tour of what's inside the Artie 3000 box. First, you're going to get some lessons. They are ordered from easy, medium, and hard. So now we're going to work on how to get your Artie ready and how to program it. For right now, we're going to do how to get it ready. So first, you open in here. But first, you have to get batteries. And you have to ask maybe your parents or an adult to help you put in the batteries that you should put in, in the back. Okay, so you open this part. There should be a, a big hole and the controls and a little red dot. So once you've had your batteries in, it should be ready. So you push it on, you should hear a little noise. Pick one of these four colors that also come in the box. For right now, I'm gonna choose blue. You push it in the hole. You might notice how it stops. That's this thing. This is to make sure that it does not go all the way down and crash and ruins everything. Right, I'm gonna take that off, close it, and then you're gonna need some type, any type of device. For right now, I'm gonna use an iPad. So, I just got into the Artie web settings website. So now, I have just got in it. There, so you see how your Artie has a special number. It's like a special number, mine is 6F01. And then, now that you have it, you can go to Safari, and try to get go to the local code with Artie app. You have to wait until that is ready. Don't worry, everything is perfectly fine, but I just need to check back in settings to see if everything's okay. Should be okay. Let me try again. Oh, now it's green. So now you can pick a bunch of stuff. You can pick artwork, you can write party party that says right down here. You can make a mandala, a star, and some games like hang, or get a hangman ready for you, a maze, and a tic-tac-toe, and you can make other types of things like a circle, octagon, square, and triangle. Today, we're gonna, we're gonna try to make um, an arty party. We're, you wanna, we're gonna write an arty party. So let me move the arty to somewhere where it's blank piece, a blank piece. Then I click on the Artie Party, click, and push OK. Then I push this green button that says Run. And then the Artie will automatically start to move in the direction. So we're going to do, try to make another one of these. But this time it's not going to spell Artie Party. This time it's going to be a circle. And Artie... It, He's going to go right here, and he's going to make a circle. Circle. So you tap on circle, push OK. Then it will show everything that you need to make a circle. Oh, what a great circle, Artie. You actually did it. Hello everybody. Now we're gonna learn how to make how to make your own code. So I'm gonna hold on to a forward and move it into here. Then you could switch it from inches to millimeters, forward to backward, but if you want to turn it left to right, you have to click one of these, then you could add then you could change the number and it can be from left to right. So I'm going to make him turn right at, at 180 degrees. And for this one, I'm going to make him go millimeters. And I want to make him move three millimeters forward. So let's see if Artie can do that. But first, you have to click on pen. If you push pen up, that means the marker goes up and it does not draw. But if you push pen down, that means it does draw. 
and this and this is repeats. So I'm gonna put. So you should always put a pen down or pen up, always before you do whatever coding you're gonna do. So I just made a new code that I'm ready for Artie to try. So we're gonna about to see if Artie can do this code. So he's gonna move forward by 46 millimeters and then turn left by 90 degrees. So let's see if Artie can do it. You ready, Artie? This time, it's the same thing that I tried to do, but this time I'm gonna repeat it four times. So he should make a square. So he's supposed to move forward by 46 millimeters, just like the last time, and then turn left by 90 degrees. So maybe this time Artie can do it. Ready, Artie? Wow, he actually made a square. This is really cool. There's also different types of coding. If you click those four dots, you can do the RD, Blockly, JavaScript. JavaScript is language of the computers. Point and click, Python, remote control, and snap. Those are all different types of languages you can use to control art. And let's try out remote control. One of these modes. This is personally the easiest one. You can tell them to move forward. And if you're wondering what this is, this is simulate. So if you move, so if you move and you move it, I'm not gonna use it right now. It just tells you exactly what you just did with the arty. So let's see what RD can do when I use remote control. Forward. I made a lightning bolt. Wow, see? A lightning bolt, just like Harry Potter's scar. But you can also make him, his pen go up and pen go down. So if his pen goes up, it doesn't draw. If his pen goes down, it does. So you might want to keep your arty on this big putt type of paper so it can add more room to draw. And you can get this paper at Walgreens, I think. Now we're going to change the color from blue to maybe purple. But you always have to keep the capas on the markers. And you might want to put this back in so it doesn't go too far down or not too far. So it says you turn right by 90 degrees. Move forward by 60 millimeters, turn left by 90 degrees, then it's going to actually start drawing. Then it's going to repeat it 36 times by moving forward by 10 millimeters and turn left by 10 degrees. So let's see if Artie can actually do this. And it's right on top of JavaScript. So I've just made this pen down, move forward by 100 millimeters, and turn by 100 degrees. I'm going to change that, those degrees to 180. And then you can use Arty, which, which shows this. Pet forward, left, pen up, pen down, logic, loops, math, lists, variables, and functions. And I'm going to try, I'm going to try another Arty. I'm going to take a turn left and go by 360 degrees. So that's a whole circle, which is like the whole thing. So let's try out this. I just made. Let's go. Whoa. Wow. Here we go. I mean, that's not really a lot, but to me, it's really cool. There's some other types. Let me show you some other ones. Here's JavaScript. 
And here is point and click. It's basically the same as simulate. It's like if you tap it, it already goes there. I like point and click to me. It's one of my favorites. Python. Another type of language of computers. Ah. So remote control. I just I showed you this. Snap. So I'm gonna go back to Artie. And I just showed you all the of those cool other types of Artie. Most of these types of robots you can they're really expensive, maybe about 150 bucks. But this one only costs 70 dollars. So if you if you're if you really if you really want to save some money, I recommend buying this robot to practice your coding with art skills. So I think we that's all the time that we have. One last thing, you can also buy Artie on Amazon.com. So if you want to keep Artie, if you already have an Artie, if, or if you still need an Artie, you can go to CodeWithArty.com. If you want to see, if you want to learn more about Artie. For this time, if you want to see more about maybe another Artie video, or a new toy video, or a book, or possibly we could do a movie. So, but the most important thing is we need you to subscribe. Every subscribe counts. And, or you can put a like, but we always need those subscribers. Thank you.